Now, in my last video, I asked, I asked and answered kind of the question of how do I name my channel? Well, or how to come up with a good channel name. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to come up with video ideas. So, for example, if you're a vlogger, what do you want to vlog about? Do you want to do a sit in front of the camera vlog or an out and, the, out and about vlog? Well, for out and about vloggers, you really had to work. You really had to think about location, location, location. And what do you what do you mean by that, Greg? Well, what I mean by that is you need to focus on um, where you're going to be and how you're going to create the lighting you need in order to be able to see, to be seen clearly on camera. Or you need to figure out what areas might be thematically appropriate to the kind of video you want to make. Like if you're doing a Halloween video, what kind of places around you are creepy or spooky or dark that could be used for a Halloween kind of setting. Or, I mean, there are so many ways that you can just prepare a vlog before you even sit down in front of the camera or go out into the world and actually do it. Now, granted, if you just want to vlog your day, that's pretty simple. Have a decent enough camera, hit record, and go throughout your day. And then after that, just edit the good bits and then keep and then get rid of the bad bits or the boring bits. That way you're not taking up everyone's time with a um, four and a half hour, eight hour video, you know. Another thing that you really want to consider when you, when you come up against doing any kind of gaming video is you need to be sure that you're going to be able to dedicate the time it takes to be able to finish your Let's Play or Play Through of the video. As well as you need to make sure that you're going to be able to actually um, keep a timetable with it. If you got a job, maybe, maybe schedule your filming of the gaming videos on the weekends. So that way you have plenty of time if you end up messing up and you have to go back and redo it. Because I don't know about you, but I want to be able to actually have a streamlined thing, a streamlined playthrough instead of having to do two or three or four different takes just to get the right one. Um, again, you really want to be intentional about it. You can't just be, oh, well... It's what it is. Because that and that and that, that's not going to help you any. And it's not really going to help anyone else. But you need to be intentional about how to prepare your videos and make them the best you can. Now with interview videos, that's a completely different story. You have to be... Interview videos, oh shoot interview videos you really have to be um you had to be kind of careful about scheduling interview videos or video interviews because if you miss it your client or your um the person that you were going to interview isn't going to be likely to want to try and reschedule just because oh i forgot or oh i had a previous a um, prior commitment that I completely forgot about or whatever. Because if they're expecting you to do a video interview over the internet with them, and then they take time out of their day to wait for you to do that, and then you don't, you're going to take some people off. For example, I completely forgot this weekend that I had a 6 o'clock video interview with a guy from Facebook and I'm never going to hear the end of it because I'm probably sitting on like a string of angry messenger messages that have yet to come through because he's probably waiting until like next Saturday and then saying oh by the way <laughs> yeah I, re I really I really opened up a can of worms with that but if you're going to, if you're going to set aside time to do something 
do it right and don't forget to do it at all. Um, because if if you forget to do it and you just don't do it at all, you're not only making the other person unhappy, you're sabotaging your own personal success by making things harder on yourself and making excuses when things go bad. Just be intentional, be attentive, and always be prepared. You do do like the scouts do. Always be prepared for emergencies or for just plain old changes of plan. I mean, really. And at the same time, you don't want to be completely... Um, you don't want to be completely blindsided by people asking you to do this for them or that for them. You had to be able to actually set aside time to actually be able to be flexible for that. But you don't want to be so flexible that you're practically unplanned at all. That would be bad. <laughs> So anyway, that, that's, that's just basically a few tips and tricks to be able to schedule out and plan your videos in advance. Um, other ideas that I have are kind of like just keep an open mind when it comes to um, making videos. If you don't usually do a particular type of video, but you're running out of your normal kind of ideas, maybe consider it. Maybe do something completely weird. And then find out that that's something that people like, too. Or be the kind of guy that does a variety show or a variety of things that they put up on their channel. So that, that way you've got plenty for every, plenty of stuff for everyone instead of just, eh, well, you've got this for these people, this for these people, and that for these people, and nothing else. Because that, <laughs> yeah... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I love you guys very much. I'll see you guys again soon. And until next time, I'll catch you on the breeze.